Well, tonight, the test that could help women with one of the biggest decisions they will ever make, to try to have a baby now or wait. As Dr. Malika Marshall shows us, some are already using it to make a plan for the future. I didn't want my biological clock, the ticking of it, to push me into my next relationship and for the wrong reasons. At 35 years old, Jessica was recently divorced and still dreamed of being a mom one day. You don't know what life is, has in store for you. So Jessica took charge, meeting with a fertility doctor at IVF New England. He sent her for a simple blood test to check her egg supply. The results are color-coded. Yellow means it's likely there's a high number of eggs, green for average, and Jessica's score came back in the red with an extremely low egg count. It really floored me and it completely just put me into shock. If the testing is more borderline, um, it suggests that there may be, um, they may have some decline already. Um, and so for those women, it becomes an important decision uh, tool in that it may um, encourage them to freeze their eggs before there is more further decline. And more women are choosing to freeze their eggs. Just a few years ago, there were barely any eggs frozen here at IVF New England. But now that the procedure is no longer considered experimental, there are hundreds of eggs now frozen in time. That number could climb even higher as women discover that their fertility may begin to wane earlier than they once thought. We start to sometimes see declines in ovarian function in the early 30s. Dr. Samuel Pauly would like to see this blood test offered at women's annual physicals to give them a glimpse into their reproductive health. Kind of almost like as a checkup to see kind of where does my biological clock stand right now. Jessica agrees. If you're 25 years old or 28 years old, start having this simple blood test and then you have this baseline so that you can gauge where your eggs are at. Almost two years after that first meeting, Jessica used the money she'd been saving up for a house to harvest and freeze 27 eggs. So do you still hear your biological clock ticking? Not really. I can take a deep breath. I can relax. Now, egg freezing is not typically covered by insurance, and it's important to note that this blood test does not predict egg quality or the ability of a woman to get pregnant, but it could provide an early warning sign if that egg count comes back low. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBC News. Now, the cost of this test depends on your insurance. Egg freezing can top $10,000 per retrieval. And the woman who shared her story with us has her eggs harvested, harvested rather three times. That's about $30,000 and a monthly storage fee.